what if I had something happen that I had to get rid of my entire collection and only keep two fragrances for each season, one for the day, one for the night, and then if I had to get rid of everything but two and just pick two fragrances to wear all year round, what would it be? But before I get into that, I never really push this, but please, please, please like this video, comment below, let me know what fragrances you would choose, and also subscribe to my channel. I appreciate the support. We are almost at 500 subscribers. But without further ado, let's get into it. Yeah. Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out, yeah. All right, so welcome back. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Randy. If you guys want to know a little bit about me and my fragrance taste, I more navigate towards the sweeter, darker, more gourmand nighttime fragrances, although I love fragrances of all types. I'm going to leave niche out of this video because if I didn't, about 75% of them would probably be Parfums de Marley or Creed. So I'm going to be only doing the ones that I normally review and that is designer. I would like you guys, if you can, comment below. Let me know if you have a collection, which ones would you choose in like ap apocalyptic times? If you had to get rid of your collection, what would you choose? If you don't have a collection, tell me what type of fragrances you navigate towards. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna float through these pretty quickly so that I'm not keeping you guys here all day, but I'm gonna start with the season of spring. So to start out the daytime spring scent that I would keep, is from a Lacoste. It is a brand new fragrance that came out in February that I love and love more and more every single time I spray it on. And that is Lacoste L1212 Eau Fraiche or Blanc Eau Fraiche. This fragrance, every single time I spray it, just gets better and better and better. The main notes that you need to know in here are grapefruit, ginger, lemon, and broxen and cedar. Uh, really, it, it smells like a cold breeze or a cold breeze with some citruses in there and a little bit of semi-sweet grapefruit and ginger that is literally what you get and then in the dry down you get some woody notes and ambroxan in there warms it up a little bit but it is super fresh it is aromatic it is clean it is a fantastic fragrance it lasts only about six hours and it projects a little under arm's length for the first three but it is a fantastic spring fragrance one of the best i mean you can wear it in summer as well but the amount of freshness in here, it's super unique. Definitely should try it out. Lacoste L1212 Blanco Fresh or Lacoste Fresh. Then my nighttime spring fragrance is one of my favorite fragrances out there. It is from the House of Azaro. It is the most wanted. This is a fragrance that can be worn pretty much all year round. It is super gourmand. I mean, it's one of my favorite. When it came out, I was shocked. I absolutely love it. The main notes that you can pull from this are cardamom, toffee, and amberwood. And that toffee note is what does it for me. It is creamy, it's sweet. It's like you were cooking in a bakery and just with caramel and toffee, it just, that's what it smells like. Um, it's a huge compliment puller. My wife absolutely loves this. I absolutely love it. And it is great for date nights. One of the best, if not the best date night fragrance out there. If you like sweet or gourmand type fragrances, Azara is the most wanted is the way to go. So that is my spring nighttime fragrance. Although you can wear it pretty much any season, anytime. It's fantastic. So now we're going to break into my next season, which is summer. So it was hard for me to decide day and night for this one because of the fact that so many of the fragrances I have for summer are super versatile. And so I decided to go with my daytime fragrance as YSL Y Eau de Parfum. So if you know anything about the YSL Y line, it's their take on the blue fragrance. The main notes that you get in the Yves Saint Laurent Y Eau de Parfum are ginger, bergamot, amberwood, and tonka bean. When you first spray this on, you get an overhaul of citruses and almost like an ambroxany feel from the amber wood that is in this, but it's a super citrusy feeling, really clean, really fresh, very versatile. And so then once you get to the dry down, that's where this changed from the Eau de Toilette. You get some of that amber wood and tonka bean giving a little bit of warmth creating that versatility factor that really makes this stand out in the line. And it's probably my favorite in the line. It's a huge compliment puller, no matter what season you wear it in. But I chose it for the summer because it does eat through the heat 
really well. It projects super nice and it's friendly in pretty much any occasion, work, office, date night, anything. That's YSLY Eau de Parfum, one of the best fragrances you can have out there. And then for my nighttime one, I would have chose the Parfum from this, but I only have a decant of it, like a 10 milliliter decant. So I went with Blue de Chanel Eau de Parfum. The main notes you pull from this are grapefruit, amberwood, incense, bergamot, and lemon. What you get in the opening is that blue fragrance that the Blue de Chanel has coined out there. The grapefruit, the incense, the lemon, the bergamot. It's a citrus semi-sweetness with a little bit of smokiness in there. And then as it dries down, it gets a little more smoky, a little bit more warm from that amber wood. And that is what you get with Blue de Chanel. It is a multi-versatile fragrance. Can be worn any hour, any minute, any day, any season. It is super fantastic. It is a huge compliment puller. I absolutely love it. That's Blue de Chanel Eau de Parfum, my nighttime summer choice. Now we're getting into the season that took me four days to decide, and it was more around the nighttime, not the daytime, but fall. <laughs> it's my favorite time of year to wear fragrances, and I was between five or six for nighttime. I could have technically been between 20, but it came down for my nighttime uh, between Emporio Armani Stronger With You Intensely, Jean-Paul Gaultier's Ultramol, and Wanted By Night, and then the one that I chose, which I'll tell you guys in a second. The daytime one was a little bit more different because in my collection, I don't really have many daytime fall fragrances per se, um, but, and the one that I wanted to choose is actually at my office, so I decided to go with one in the same line. And I'll tell you which one I was going to choose is from Dolce & Gabbana, the one Eau de Parfum Intense. And the one I was going to choose is Dolce & Gabbana's the one Eau de Parfum. The only difference between the two is this lasts about an hour longer, projects about a half hour longer, and the Eau de Parfum has tobacco and a little bit more of a sweetness. That's the difference between the two, but because I don't have the bottle with me, I'm talking about this. The main notes in Dolce & Gabbana's The One Eau de Parfum Intense are cashmere, benzoin, leather, labdanum, labdanum, and cardamom. So again, I would have chose the Eau de Parfum because that is my daytime fragrance. It can be worn uh, during the fall pretty much in any situation. You can wear it to work. You can wear it whatever. You can even wear this to work. This is actually more work safe and more of a daytime fragrance but it's, they're both very versatile. They're sweet, they're ambery, they're warm, they're spicy. I just like that tobacco note more from the Eau de Parfum and I just wish it lasted a little bit longer. Speaking of lasting longer, the ones in the summer I just spoke about, those ones last like well over eight to 10 hours. So you don't have to worry about projection or longevity with either of those. They both project great. They both last a long time. Um, so that is my daytime fragrance, Dolce & Gabbana, the one Eau de Parfum or Eau de Parfum Intense. My, time, my nighttime one, again, I had a really hard time deciding this. It was the hardest of all of them, but I came down to a brand new fragrance that came out last month. You guys will already know what this is. It is the most wanted parfum. So again, I could use that hand in hand with Wanted by Night. But this one to me just edges it a little bit because of that uh, vanilla note, the bourbon vanilla note. So the main notes that they say are in this are red ginger, bourbon vanilla, and woods. And really that's all you really need to know from this fragrance. The bourbon vanilla comes out in the opening. It almost, uh, and it mixes with this fresh, sweet red ginger, and it almost gives you that feeling of the toffee from the original Most Wanted. And then once you get to the dry down, it definitely changes. It gets a little bit boozy, a little bit of amber wood in there. That red ginger and the vanilla mix even more, leaving you with this semi-sweet, slightly gourmand, really nice fragrance that is really nice for the fall. My wife said this is my favorite, her favorite fragrance in my collection. It's my favorite fragrance in my collection as far as designers are concerned and it is great for date nights. I get compliments from people I don't even know wearing this and I've only worn this for like a month. So great, absolute great fragrance and I should definitely recommend you get out there and try it. But I'm not gonna spend all day talking about my favorite fragrance. I'm gonna get into winter where another one of my favorite fragrances are. 
um, it wasn't as hard because I already, it was the first fragrance I thought of, but for, it's my nighttime fragrance, but for my daytime fragrance in the winter, I decided to go with Guerlain Paris Loam Ideal Eau de Parfum. The main notes that you get from this are cherry, vanilla, almond, and leather. It is another one of those gourmand fragrances, but it's a very classy, luxurious gourmand. The cherry vanilla mixes very well with that leather. When you get to the dry down, it's not as sweet, but it is a very, very nice fragrance. If you like uh, unisex fragrances, this one would be up your alley. Um, it's still masculine while maintaining that unisex because of the cherry vanilla, but it's a fantastic fragrance. It's really hard to find, um, but it is really nice for the daytime especially in colder months. It eats through the cold, but it's really nice to the point where it's not too heavy or too thick um, or dark that you have to wear it at night. It's great during the day. Lo Midiel Eau de Parfum, my wintertime scent of the day. And the last one is my wintertime scent of the night. This was an easy decision. Spice Bomb Infrared. I know a lot of people out there would say Spice Bomb Extreme. I honestly am not that huge of a fan of Spice Bomb Extreme. I'm just not that big of a fan of the heavy vanilla notes, but with this one, it is completely different. Don't get me wrong, I do like Spice Bomb Extreme. I like Spice Bomb, I like the whole line, except for the Eau de Toilette Night Vision. Um, but this one is actually fantastic. The main notes you get from this are tobacco, vanilla, cinnamon, and red fruits, and also some like chili pepper or Tabasco or some red pepper of some sort. In the opening, it's super spicy. It's the spiciest in the line. You get hit with a wave of cinnamon, red pepper, a little bit of red fruits, and it's just dries down to this beautiful, this beautiful semi-sweet, vanilla cinnamon note that is just absolutely amazing. It pulls compliments. If you wanna walk into a room and somebody to notice you, this is it. But the bad thing is if you watched my short, I threw this and acted like it was a grenade and it broke. And so now I have to put them into a tester every time I wanna try it on. So uh, the Spice Bomb Infrared, my favorite wintertime fragrance, like it's not even close, it's so good. Uh, so out of those, tell me what you think. Let me know which ones you like. And now I'm going to choose the two out of my collection that I would choose as my two signature scents. And one of these might be surprising to you, but the first one is Blue de Chanel Eau de Parfum. Because of the versatility factor, you can be fresh while also classy. You can wear it at date nights. It's an easy random pull. Blue fragrance, it is a crowd pleaser. It is fantastic, that versatility factor, I mean, it's a no-brainer. Blue Dish now has to be, if you like it, it has to be in your top, uh, top fragrances as far as being a signature scent. The second one is where I'm probably gonna surprise people because of how much I talked about the most wanted uh, parfum. It's actually not that, it's the most wanted. So the reason I didn't chose, choose the most wanted parfum is because of the fact that it doesn't work great in high heat while this one does on the hot summer nights or the cold winter nights this one will eat through it all and not smell bad because um, there are some gourmand fragrances out there that if you spray them in the heat they will not smell as good as they do in cooler weather but in the in the parfum i'm guessing does that even though i haven't tried it out yet there's just some notes that are too heavy in it. Yet yeah, this one, it has this freshness aspect to it that makes it a super versatile gourmand fragrance. And probably in my collection, the most versatile gourmand fragrance out there. Smells fantastic. So those are my two. If I had to pick two fragrances out of my 130 some bottles, 120 some bottles, it would be Blue de Chanel Eau de Parfum and the Azaro Most Wanted. So again, comment below, let me know which ones you guys would choose. Hit the bell, get those notifications so you get my videos sooner. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys soon.